You're gonna have those peaks if you're playing duel. He's playing duelist right. This is how you guys need to play duelist. Like a lot of you lower rank people that are watching this, this is how you play duelist right here. Like he switched out his position. Like a lot of like duelists and shit don't switch up their positions. You guys gotta switch your positions. Like every try and switch it up if you're playing like Jet or Chamber or Reyna. Every round try and switch up your position as much as you can. Just keep your enemies off guard. Like today we will be reviewing Mr. Arpit. This is gonna be the second time we reviewed him. He is currently Diamond Two, so he's around my rank. I'm D3, Immortal right now. Like I'm bouncing between the two. He's D2, so he's around my rank. So we're gonna review him. It's my second time reviewing him. His link will be in the description. Literally, literally, just fucking, just fucking subscribe to him. Also, if you want your shit reviewed, the VOD review section right here on my Discord. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitch, guys. I started tweeting on, streaming on Twitch, guys. I can't even speak right now. <coughs> I'm still sick. But yeah, here we go. Mr. Arpit D2. Here we go, boys. Playing some Jet on Breeze. <coughs> about to get a fat nerf, boys. How about that Jet nerf, boys? Leave a comment talking about that Jet nerf. That would answer 890. I think you need to calm and tell your Viper to wall up here, man. Uh, so your Viper has that default wall mid right here? Fuck, what's going on? Your Viper has that default wall mid, you know? Like, nothing wrong with the... I don't know. I feel like you should tell Viper to wall, like... Because it would help you so you don't have to watch it, like, as much behind, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so if you look at minimap right here, you see, like, how the fucking... The Viper wall is, like, diagonal like that? You could have her wall that off, because it's already walled off, and you have the spike down here. Like, bottom mid, so you could just wall that off, and you can isolate the Viper so she has to fight this Viper one-on-one. -on -one, and then you can say she just play a 2v2 together. If your Viper didn't wall mid once, like, you could have calmed that easily. Like this is diamond level, so you can easily calm shit like that, and they should usually do it for you. Nice. Your sage wall there, which is good. So like, if the viper wall is up right here, everything's like he's stuck. You know what I mean? I would say good round though. I think hit your shots. Yeah, good round. Just keep that in mind when like there's like an eco that like a jet or viper might lurk up like that and smoke off this chamber trip. So tell your chamber to like switch up his trip locations as well. Yo, Arpit's sexy as fuck. Yo, if you guys have anything to say in the stream, just let me know. Like if you guys have you know, anything crazy. Huh? How are you alive? Ooh! So good. Okay. Okay. No smoke on me. The stage have heal. Oh! Really? Shit! I'm. I feel like that jet smoke was literally just enough to fuck up the dude's crosshair placement. That was perfect. If you guys are trying to learn how to play jet, do what he did. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you even survived that long. That was nuts, man. I think you save here, man. I think you save the op. Oh, man. Yeah, you need to try and save that op, man. I think I think after you get this kill, you just smoke your feet off and try and run. Because, like, I mean, most likely someone's going to be arches because they know you're there after you get that kill. You know what I mean? So just smoke out your feet and try and run. Just, like, because, yeah, I think an op's expensive as fuck. And, like, if they have a jet and a chamber, so if they got that shit, they're just going to dominate. You know what I mean? On attack, usually. Especially on Breeze. So maybe just like try and like get that kill. After you get that kill, smoke your feet right away. Instead of trying to fight the jet head on. Or at least like updraft or do something. Because I don't know. You need to try and save that off. At least no one got it. They're pretty far away. Alright, so one thing I just noticed. Alright, that wasn't a bad play. Like, you kind of missed your shot there. I'm dead. Yeah, there's underneath. You just missed your shot. But one thing I think you should do this time, next time, is like play like in that corner maybe if your chamber's gonna trip there. You know what I'm saying? So that way, because usually you look at the chamber trip like after it goes off. You know what I'm saying? So like they're gonna be looking and then they'll see you. But another thing is they don't have a sova or a sky or a ko. You could play really aggressive. So like I want to see you like play really aggressive this game. Like pay attention. To, and one thing for you guys, pay attention to everyone's team comps. Because like if they don't have like an initiator and you're playing Jet, Chamber, Reyna, or even like Neon, play fucking aggressive as shit because they can't really counter it. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's kind of like their fault. But, yeah. You just missed your shot there, but I think you should play on the opposite side of the chamber trap. Use the chamber trap to advantage, like the chamber trap is bait. Because almost everyone's gonna shoot the chamber trap, you know what I mean? I like how you switch up the position. Like jet too. A lot of people with jet don't switch up the position like you are. Like you went mid and peak, that's good. You're gonna have those peaks. If you're playing duel, he's playing duelist right. This is how you guys need to play duelist. Like a lot of you lower rank people that are watching this, this is how you play duelist right here. Like he's switching up his position. Like a lot of like duelists and shit don't switch up their positions. You guys gotta switch your positions. Like every try and switch it up if you're playing like jet or chamber or Reyna. Every round try and switch up your position as much as you can. Just keep your enemies off guard. Like you should literally have like chamber, like your your like sentinels and everything play about the same spot, but your duelist should be rotating as well as chamber should be rotating around. Because they have those aggro peaks. And he's playing this route, they can be rotated every round. One thing I haven't seen you use yet is your updraft. You haven't used like any updraft like for like opping, so I wanna see that maybe. But other than that, you've been playing really well. You're in like a weird spot right now. I don't. Alright. I think you need to just back off this fucking fight mid. 
because you like there's five still alive i think you're in like a really shit spot because you're completely open right there i think you need to try and back up just go back site and try and just isolate either isolate b main or isolate mid because you're you're literally like exposed completely to mid right now someone could easily just kill you like there's five people alive like more than likely there's gonna be one b main just my guess i'm gonna guess you're gonna die from b main this round i'm not gonna certain but i'm just gonna guess you're gonna die from b main or mid like one of those two because you're completely exposed right now unless they rotate a which they might but you're like really exposed b main yeah you're lucky you didn't die there like, but yeah. <laughs> i guess i just be careful of that yeah they're just holding me see me get to me i guess you spoke yourself off there I think you got a little too aggro there. I get you're up 6 2, but you just got like way too aggro there. Because, like, I mean, that jet, that viper's there. Either what you need to do now is either smoke yourself off and reposition, like, reposition somehow. Either go in the right corner or left corner right here instead of fighting. Because you're, I don't know, you need to take cover, bro. You're not really, you didn't really isolate yourself too well. Because you gotta think. We have an off, so you can only do one at a time, you know what I mean? So try and get a one on one and fight. Because right now you're in the middle. You're just asking for like a, you're just asking them to peek you, you know what I mean? Because it's 2v1. Like you're gonna die regardless here. But I think you need to smoke your feet and reposition at one angle and isolate one of the people. You didn't isolate anyone here. I can see Spike. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like you didn't isolate anyone. Like you were just completely wide from the Viper. I'm hoping you're telling your Viper to watch window here, otherwise you're fucked. You want to play? Let's play. Yeah, you need to tell your viper to watch window man like right there you need to tell your viper to watch window because you could easily die from window right here like especially with the chamber all going down right now you could easily die from window so you have your viper watch window you know what i mean because kind of like you could die easily there it doesn't seem like you're calming a lot maybe use your mic a little more too and calm like more i don't know i like calming a lot some people find it annoying but i like it a lot yep guess where you die from window man you gotta have your viper watch window for you yeah, your Viper was holding a shit angle for your window. If you're gonna hold that angle like that, you gotta have your Viper hold more right, like almost on top of you, if that makes sense. Cause like, if you're gonna hold that, you're just completely exposed to the window cause he doesn't have to swing that far. Like think about the angles this game. Like he doesn't have to swing that far window to see you. Like he barely swung at all and your Viper was in a shit spot cause she can't see it. See, you know what I'm saying? Like the angle wise, like, cause the Viper's looking more that way. So the Viper has like a, this Viper in the window can easily see you. You get what I'm saying? Like just angle wise, think about it. So she sees you before a viper sees her because your viper's in a shit spot. Your viper should have been more right right here, holding like more of an aggressive angle like that to counter counter the viper's peak. The enemy viper's peak. Yeah, you need to tell your viper. Your viper's like, I don't know. You need to tell your viper to smoke. She's not smoking for you guys. Like, you guys have a viper, but she's not smoking. It's really weird. I know she's lurking, but she can still smoke. Like, it's really weird. Like, if everybody hasn't smoked like one time, you guys are just shitting on these kids like crazy, bro. All right, well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the VOD review, guys. Uh, like I said, if you guys want your shit reviewed, join right here. So takeaways from this video, guys. Takeaways from this video. Um, our pit. One thing you take away is just positioning. That seems like a kind of an issue right now. Like your positioning is not terrible. But yeah, I'm back. Your positioning is not terrible, but like again, just kind of okay. keep that in mind. You're kind of like positioning like kind of bad sometimes. You know what I mean? Match just kind of keep that in mind. Um, try and isolate fights one on one, not fight one two v twos, and play more with your team. It seems like you're kind of just playing solo. Like you're playing like a deathmatch kind of. You know what I mean? But yeah, honestly, not bad. Really good shit, bro. Um, yeah. Uh, follow me on Twitch. I'm out. Are you